Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at Ministon sent me over one of their outdoor Wi-Fi dimmer plugs for me to show you guys. Now this is the MP22WD model. Without further ado, let's see what all we can do with it. Here we go. So you can pick this thing up on Amazon's website for about $27, which at first glance seems maybe a little high, but the fact that it's a dimmer as well as outdoor IP65 rated, I do think it's a much better deal. All right, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, so for starters, we will unbox the plug. Once we do that, then we're going to get it plugged in and get it set up in the Tuya app. Once we've uh, done that, we'll kind of go over what config options are available to us within the Tuya app. Then we're going to see uh, if it will work with Home Assistant uh, using the Tuya integration. And then lastly, I'll just kind of give you my final thoughts. So let's get started. So here it is, the uh, MP22WD uh, outdoor dimmer plug. It's got a lot of specs information here on the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Obviously not a whole lot to it. You're going to have some instructions on uh, how to uh, install it and get it set up. Then, of course, you have the plug itself. It's a pretty small form factor, which I really like. Um, it's got the uh, cap for the plug there to make it waterproof when you're not using it. And then, of course, the button with the light indicator on it to show that it's on and off. It also comes with a screw uh, to mount it next to your outdoor uh, outlet if you'd like, uh, just to make it a little bit easier. But other than that, that's all you get inside the box itself. Now if we jump over here and take a look at the specs, uh, like I said, this is 15 amps max, and I don't see it shown here, but it should be 400 watts uh, total. Again, this is only one outlet. Uh, so there's not a double plug there, just a single plug. And the wireless frequency, of course, is 2.4 gigahertz, uh, which seems to be pretty standard for a lot of smart home gear here. But other than that, that's about all the info that I can give you here on the technical specs. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get this thing set up. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm just gonna basically install this in my hallway here just to kind of show you what it looks like. It's a little chilly outside right now, so I'm not really wanting to go outside if I don't have to. Uh, so uh, basically I've got it plugged in here. You can see there's the uh, button to turn it on and off. But as far as adding it into the Tuya app, so we're basically just gonna select the uh, Wi-Fi socket here. Uh, of course, it asks for my wireless information, so we'll put that in here. Remember, it's 2.4 gigahertz, so don't forget that. And then it should start searching. And there it is. Um, it has added it in here. We can change the name if we'd like. I'm just going to call it Outdoor Plug, make it something simple. That's it, it's now added in. And it works, turning it on and off, everything looks good. Let's move on to the next step and we'll kind of go over the configuration. All 
All right, so again, there's not a whole lot to it here. We'll click on it. So you have the ability to change the brightness here. If you go up here to the settings in the top corner, you can look at device information. It'll give you your uh, IP address and whatnot of the device. But other than that, um, nothing else really that you can set up there other than just your standard Tuya uh, device information. Uh, you can schedule it if you want to go on and off or put it on some sort of timer. Everything else is pretty standard, nothing special as far as configuration goes there within the Tuya app. Let's move on to the next step and we'll see if we can't get this thing added into Home Assistant. All right, so here I am in Home Assistant uh, in the integration section. Basically, I've already done it, but if you hadn't already, you'd go down here and hit reload on your Tuya integration uh, and let it reload. And then basically we should be able to uh, open that up. And there you can see Outdoor Plug, it is listed there. The one thing I thought was pretty cool is not only does it give you the minimum and maximum brightness, uh, and basically you have the ability to, to change it to whatever level you want, but it also has a light source type. So you can choose LED, incandescent, uh, halogen which i thought was pretty cool i haven't seen that before on any of my other dimmable devices so that's kind of cool there but it was pretty easy to set up at home assistant obviously using that tuya integration made it super simple um so yeah there we go ministun single outdoor wi-fi dimmer plug pretty cool let's move on to the last step and i'll give you my final thoughts All right, so as final thoughts go, I mean, again, this plug is about 27 bucks. It's not super cheap, but you do have the ability to uh, dim it. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the scenarios that I would probably use this for. Maybe some Christmas lights outside or holiday lights uh, to be able to dim them. I don't really do that a lot, but I could see the functionality might be uh, uh, usable there. Another scenario might be like an outdoor patio, like a backyard deck or something like that, where you might want some string lights out there. Um, and then you could, of course, dim them and set the mood um, as you'd like. So that's probably where I would probably use these the most. Um, again, I don't know that you would need a whole bunch of these, but it's not bad to have a couple of these around the house for various scenarios like that. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. Also, check out Smonet. They have tons of smart home products and smart home gear for your home, and you definitely want to check out what deals they currently have right now. And if you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.